What is going on guys? It's Justin from the J Media back with another video. So today we're having a simple DIY install and uh, I actually just got this part not too long ago. Super simple, you can pretty much do it on any car. So we'll be installing some window visors on my Mitsubishi Lancer Rally Art. So if you guys don't know what visors are, these are the window visors. We have them on my Lancer GT. That's how they kind of look. Brother's car doesn't have visors. I have them pretty much on all the cars, except the S2000 since it's a convertible. Even the SI has window visors. And you guys might be wondering, what's the point of window visors? Really, it doesn't have it. I think, firstly, aesthetically, it looks a little nicer. Nice little touch. Uh, secondly, I also think that it serves a purpose. So, if you're ever like smoking or if you it's raining, you want to have your window cracked a little bit, get some fresh air, you can crack your window down a little bit and not have rain go in. You can still have fresh air go in. So, well, mainly for me, it's an aesthetic thing. I know in Asia, in Japan, or a lot of parts of the world, when you buy a car brand new, sometimes these window visors come standard on the vehicles, but not in the US. So it's kind of like a JDM thing, I guess. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and load it from the trunk and get to installing it. Super easy install. All right. I love the wagon for this reason, because I can just fold the back seat down, have my parts. We also do have a license plate frame here, which I don't know if I'll install today, but your boy just ordered some custom license plates. We should be here maybe in the next few weeks, so we'll be changing some custom plates and I'll probably change out the license plate frame at the same time. But let's go ahead and install the window visors. So, we have four pieces, as you can tell. Two for the left side, two for the right side. And length is a little bit different, so before I slap them on, I always like to test fit. Um, I'm not sure, I think the shorter one goes up front. Or maybe not, let's try the longer one. You wanna make sure it fits nice and flush. Okay, so yeah, I think the longer one goes up front. And it's just held on by double-sided tape, super easy. So, like so, goes all the way down. And then, the shorter one, really back here, like so. Okay, yeah, nice, very nice. And before I slap it on, I just want to use some detailing spray, spray it down real quick, make sure it's nice and clean so you have a clean surface before you stick it on. Now that that's done, like I said, super easy. It already comes with double-sided tape. If it doesn't, make sure to get some double-sided tape, put it on the back. Uh, you wanna make sure to install it when it's pretty nice and warm, not too hot outside. Sorry, not too cold outside, because otherwise it doesn't stick well. Um, so right now, temperature is pretty nice, not too cold. If it's cold, I'll recommend using a heat gun to heat it up. Um, but yeah, let's get to installing it, super easy. We have the front done. We do have to wipe it down after, but it looks nice and clean. And you can see the back doesn't have it. I definitely think the window visors has a nice little look to it. So yeah, let's go ahead and install the rear as well. Bam, there we have it. Window visors all installed. What do you guys think? I think it looks good, nice and clean. Let's go ahead and install the other side.
right, so just like that, super easy install. It takes less than five minutes. Let me show you guys the window visors all around. So this is the driver's side. Let me come around to show you guys the passenger side. Like I said, really simple, nice and clean install. And sure, if you go online, you can find like universal ones. I find ones that are made for the car because that way you can see the lines match up and not looks weird. Uh, just like on my SI, I kind of cheap out on this one. You can see that it doesn't really line up really nicely. So yeah, it's super cheap. You could probably buy it for like 20 to 30 bucks. Definitely less than 50 bucks for all four anyway. Um, if you guys are wondering where you can buy it from, you could buy it from eBay, Amazon, just Google search. Lancer Swan's still nice after a couple years. I've had it on for, whew, I don't know how many years. A long time. Still sitting on nicely. So if you do your install right, it should sit on for a long time. And if I were to change one thing, um, the double sided they provide, sometimes it's not very good. So you can go ahead and get stronger double sided tape. Uh, you can go to your local Home Depot or Lowe's uh, parts store and they sell the industrial use outdoor 3M tape or Gorilla tape. Say it holds up to 30 pounds or 40 pounds of weight. That one is really strong. I've used that in the past. So if for any reason the tape they provide is old or doesn't stick really well, you can remove the tape and put your own tape. Again, you could go, it's called the industrial use, 30 to 40 pounds, super strong double-sided tape. I hope you guys like this simple DIY install. Again, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit thumbs up, leave a subscribe. We'll be having more content soon on some of these cars. Uh, my Mitsubishi Lancer will be having a car show coming up next month. I'll be probably making more videos about this car as well. Uh, the Brother Supra, whenever he takes it out, we'll make more content. Uh, the recent addition to the family, my brother picked up his new Tesla as his daily driver. Uh, we got more rally art content, obviously, because this is the new car. And with any new builds, I put out a lot of content. Um, we have the SI, pretty much just chilling over here, but... I love driving this thing. So yeah, stay tuned. Oh, and the S2000 is back at the house. My S2000 content will be coming soon as well. Uh, we do have a few parts. We have a new front bumper for the Lancer. We have a new front bumper for the S2000. New headlights for this car. So stay tuned. A bunch of exciting content is going to come. Alright, like I said, I'll wrap things up here. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.